Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm just sitting here this morning, enjoying a absolutely beautiful start to the day, clearing my head with a cup of coffee, and catching up on the news, just reading, and I couldn't help but notice this article right here. That's this morning's news. FBI warns of solar panel cyber threat and how Hawaii is at risk. Huh. Businesses and residents with solar panels have been warned about being vulnerable to cyber attacks. The FBI recently put out a warning to renewable industry companies and users through a private industry notification. The PIN cites vulnerabilities in renewable energy technologies and solar panels, inverters, a device that converts electricity to DC to AC. How to avoid solar panel scams. Yeah, cybersecurity experts said some inverters connect to home internet. And when they're connected to the internet, anyone can access them and change them and turn them off and mess with them or remotely take them over and then do coordinated attacks against the target. CPAC, C-Y-P-A-C, Cybersecurity and IT President Attila Ceres said. Hawaii has a goal of 100% renewable energy by 2045, and KHON2 asked Hawaii, Hawaiian Electric about the risk of these inverters, and Hawaiian Electric responded, We take these types of warnings very seriously and use the information they provide to inform our approach <clears throat> to grid cybersecurity. Like other critical infrastructure providers across the country, we implement rigorous cybersecurity protocols, including those mentioned in the release. We also collaborate with industry experts from the public and private sectors, including our partners at the Honolulu FBI field office, to safeguard the technology we deploy into the grid, ensuring reliable and secure energy delivery to our customers. Ceres and said hackers who take over an inverter could gain access to personal information, but those in the solar industry said critical data should not be at risk with most devices. Maybe it's the name and address, but it's not you know. I can't think of one that that's that I've ever seen that's had like social security number. Usually don't even have date of birth, said Revolution co-founder and CEO Josh Powell. Cybersecurity experts said a name and address is all that is needed to start an identity theft scam, and residents and businesses alike should consider connecting their inverters to a separate home internet. So, it could say, for example, you know, monkey home, and then monkey guest, and everyone who shows up goes to monkey guest. Well, just on the day that I was going to go switch out one inverter for the next. <laughs> if you've been following the channel, you know that uh, today I was planning on putting in a different inverter on my 48 volt system. And I believe that one will hook up to the internet, whereas the one that I'm taking down does not. So I take some exception to... Uh, the title of this article, FBI warns of solar panel cyber threat, where they're really actually talking about the inverters. But maybe there's some smart solar panels out there that are connecting to the internet that I'm unaware of. But uh, I have uh, racks of dumb solar panels, so they're not connecting to the internet. And none of my inverters are either. So yeah, the plan of the day was for me to take this inverter off the wall here, uh, kind of deconstruct this system here a little bit, 
And I was going to slap in this Calfa 48 volt solar charger inverter. This all in one system. If you guys have been following the channel for the past few videos, you know what I'm uh, trying to figure out. And I think that I have figured out that that reliable inverter I just showed you is not behaving properly. And so I was going to put this in and I have reviewed this and it works very well. And we put it in a couple of different systems so far for reviews and <clears throat> this time I was going to hook up some communications that it came with and put that on this one which actually uh, as far as I know right now would connect that particular inverter to the internet so golly gee is that something now I have to consider <laughs> and a new learning curve for cyber security on my inverter. Like I said, I haven't got that far into this. I just downloaded the app this morning while I was sitting there and then I came across that article and I thought, oh great, something else that I have to learn about before I actually tie this up or maybe I'll just avoid the comms uh, <clears throat> reporting back to my devices. I'll have to get in that a little bit further because I, I can't speak with any kind of intelligence about how to, how, what this is going to you know, effect or not. So maybe another cup of coffee and I'll get that resolved, but slap this in there. Well, I think that article could have been a, a lot more informative and a little less uh, alarming in their title, talking about, you know, cybersecurity in your solar panels. But I guess that's the wor world we're living in. I'll have to do a little more research on that comms unit, on that all-in-one inverter, and and see what I'm going to do about that. And I'll wait to hear what some of you guys that are doing with your smart inverters out there uh, to protect yourself from any kind of cyber attack on our solar system. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, they're not going to hack into that inverter. And none of my Victrons either. I'm just using the Bluetooth on that to go to my devices so I can read the apps on these. I mean, you know, I've got several of these in various forms and sizes. But, yeah, that other one, that Calpha with the communications, I'll have to take a deeper look at that. But I'm not quite awake enough to say exactly what I'm going to do. But, yeah, that's one thing I never considered. And that's not one of the articles I wanted to see. But, you know, for a lot of us, that, and not me, but a lot of you guys that have Victron stuff and you're doing a lot of remote stuff <clears throat> over the internet as you can, you know, what are you doing for protection? That is just something I have never given a moment's thought for what I'm doing. Uh, I'll think about it a little bit more as I get ready to put this up in action, which I am going to do. Uh, but yeah, now I'll have to think about that a little bit. Well, I'm not worried about it. And like I said, one more cup of coffee and I'll figure out uh, a little bit more. But I'm sure some of you guys, like I said, with those remote systems that you're, you know, monitoring your sites on the other side of the country from where you are, um, I'm sure you have some security features that I'm not using out here, but yeah, that article caught my attention since it was directed towards solar users in Hawaii. So yeah, that woke me up a little bit and I was like, dang, I have to learn something else. No, come on. I can barely get an inverter up on the wall. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll be interested to see what you guys think about all of this and what maybe you know, in all seriousness, what kind of features you're using to secure your systems as more and more of these devices are smart and being tied into the internet, blah, blah, blah. All right. Aloha. One more cup of coffee for the road, which the road is the deck from here to the room. I'm going to put that inverter in. All right, guys, have a great day. Yeah. Cyber, cyber attacks out here. Yeah. Hey, are you guys worried about cyber attacks? 
Huh? Either one of you? You're sleeping right in front of some solar panels. I guess no one's too worried out here. <laughs> you know, we're trying to promote solar out here and headlines like that. You know, everyone woke up to seeing those same headlines sitting out here waking up this morning reading the news like so many do. And they get that and they maybe were thinking about solar. And I just think that could have a very negative impact, which yeah, I think it could have been a little more or a little less scary for people to catch a headline like that because, yeah, we're not worried. <laughs>